All right, so this is the effect we're getting right now. I'm going to keep this in the stack. And then I'm going to go over to the area over here and pick my light source. Where can I adjust my photons? Now here's how it works. How many photons are there? Okay, right now there is 10,000 photons, which is not a lot of photons compared to the actual space it takes to get from here to here. Another thing is the exponent. Okay, from here to here is a great distance, but this is a very sensitive thing. At one, caustics are traveling, you know, near speed of light, and then at point five, they are laser quality, okay? So the lower the number, the faster the caustics go. And just kind of see if I can. What I want to do is render this just a little bit, hit escape. That way I can IPR render it, and then IPR render it right in this area. Okay, so my caustic property is right there, showing up. Now I'm just going to go into this, the light. That way I can adjust it and see it at the same time. Okay, so if I had the exponent at uh, 0.5, tons of photons. Look at, and they're all like going way out into the scene. They're going insane. That's a lot of photons at 0.5. So you probably want to keep this as a 1 or a 2, but never rank it up to like a like a 0.5 or a 0.25 unless you want some kind of really weird space age effect. And even then I get the I'm getting these photons so far that they're actually touching the wall. So, a very sensitive setting. So that's the exponent, or how fast photons travel. But in here, there's also the number of photons. So how about 20,000. With the number of photons, you're going to get a much better uh, quality photon showing up over here on this block. So you're going to get a gradient approach to it. That's why this is a nice setting. Now, I can color my photons, but really, you should always keep the photon color about white because it would affect the color of the actual uh, material. If I go changing the color here, it's going to add it to, let's say if I went red, it's going to make a purple photon. Okay. And let's see, under here, let's go into the render qualities. Uh, so the accuracy, same as Final Gather. If I put the 200 here, you'll get a much better type of co uh, a render. And the radius, as long as you're sitting within this small uh, grid right here, it should be fine at um, zero. But if you are having a bigger scene, you have to start changing those. That's why I always say to the students, stay within your grid, especially when you're working on lights. So photon reflections and reflections, you know, I could put these up a little bit more and what you're going to get is a different type of render altogether here. See how it, it now bled across further onto the block. So this has a lot to do with the gradient. Photon volume isn't really too much of a thing right now because we're not trapping photons in a volume. And photon map, um, that just renders it onto a map on your hard drive. 
Okay, so, and that that's one of the things that you can find in those in the list of uh, projects that you made from the project file. Is it useful? No, not really. Okay, so that's it for photons and caustic. So I'm going to keep this in my scene and then add a little bit more to the scene as I go. So on to another part of rendering.